Hi, I'm Charlotte with Freezer Meals 101. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Today, you might find yourself with a little bit of leftovers or a lot of leftovers. And so hopefully what I show you today will help you be able to use those leftovers and have nothing go to waste. The main thing we're gonna be talking about today is what to do with all that turkey, but I'm also gonna be telling you how you can incorporate some of your other leftovers into some freezer meals that you can make. What we're gonna to make today is a turkey layered casserole thing with mashed potatoes, like just with whatever we have left over. And you can also make turkey soup. I make that pretty much every single year with leftovers. And I also throw in any vegetables that we had left over. And sometimes I like to add a little bit of gravy into the soup because it just gives it extra flavor and gets rid of some of that leftover gravy. You can also make a white turkey chili, a turkey noodle casserole, a turkey pot pie, or kind of a cottage pie, shepherd's pie idea with layers. What we're gonna be doing today is more along the lines of a layered casserole. Now I'm using these containers here because I'm gonna be making these for my mother-in-law and I want smaller portions. So you can do it in a regular casserole dish, a large uh, family size one or the smaller ones, depending on how many leftovers you have and on what you're gonna be using them for. So I'm gonna pour some leftover gravy in the bottom of this pan. Now, the gravy is actually that make-ahead gravy that we made well before Christmas. So I will pop a link right up there to how to make freezer gravy. <laughs> so I'm using the freezer in so many ways, <laughs> but that was that gravy. And then we're gonna take some of our turkey that was left over that I just cubed up and we're gonna add some turkey in there. We're gonna add a healthy amount because that's the main part of this. Now we're gonna add some frozen peas because I didn't have any of my green beans left over from yesterday, so frozen peas it is. But at this step, you could add any vegetables that you have left over that you want to get rid of. Now we're gonna give that a quick stir. And now we're going to top this with our mashed potatoes that we have left over. Now here's where it gets fun. This is such a forgiving casserole. You can actually put a layer either underneath the mashed potatoes or on top of the mashed potatoes of your leftover stuffing. Now in my case, I can't do that because my kids would revolt if I put the stuffing in here because they will be eating it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for about the next three days. So that I kept for them because I know it won't go to waste. But you could also put a layer of your sweet potato casserole in here before you add your mashed potatoes or if you don't have mashed potatoes, that could take the place of the mashed potatoes. You could, if you wanted to, even add a little bit of cranberry sauce in here and it would taste a bit like Thanksgiving. So. We are going to do a layer of mashed potatoes on the top here. And then we'll spread that out. as that, we have a lovely leftover turkey casserole that we can put in the freezer and it can be heated up. None of our holiday leftovers are going to waste. And now that I've taken care of the leftovers, I can truly relax. 
I think I'm gonna go and watch one of those cheesy Hallmark Christmas <laughs> movies and have the rest of my tea. Thank you for joining me today. I do hope that you had a wonderful holiday and that once you get your leftovers into the freezer, you can sit and relax and enjoy time with your loved ones.